Hello everyone, this is Preeti. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, today once again I have shared few of the Excel interview questions for different analyst profile. So without wasting our time, let's start with the first one. So in this question, let me just open the diagram here. So here are two buildings A and C and these two buildings have, uh, you know, more area apart from their building area means let's say these boxes are actually their building. So A and C are the building owners of this building and apart from this building area, they have some more area uh, from the road. Like this is the building area for C as well as this is also the area for C. And I is the connecting uh, road between both A and C. So now we want to know there are three vendors, right? A, I and C. So we want, we just, there is a condition that if vendor um, is building owner, then only then they can charge both fixed and variable, otherwise can charge only variable. So here A and C both are building owner. So they can charge both fixed and variable, whereas I is not any building owner, so he can only charge the variable, not the fixed one. It's quite simple actually. Very simple question. Um, the interviewer actually wants to know, you know, whether you are listening to his query carefully or not, how much attentive you are. It's actually quite simple. Any even ninth or 10th class student can solve it. So the very next question is, what is composite key? So basically, in layman terms, a composite key is the combination of two or more than two columns. Fine. So you can get the definition, exact definition or more information about composite key from the internet as well. Now, uh, the third question is using VLOOKUP, how we can get the class using students. Let me just open this um, image. So here are two, you can say that here is a table actually. If you are familiar with VLOOKUP, what we need, we just need for with the VLOOKUP formula, we need the value you want to look up for here. The lookup value is class actually. We need to retrieve, we need to get the class value from this using the students and age obviously. So I need the class value. So basically uh, first, you know, value you want to look up for even called as lookup value. I need the range where, you know, the lookup value is located. This range is here like A to 2. Uh, this one also fine from here. It's uh, an array from A to 2, B9 and the column number in the range that contains a return value, right? Obviously, so here like A counts as the, you know, first column and B counts as the second column. If there are more, you can count it as well. So there is an, an optional, obviously, argument as well where you can specify true if you want an approximate match or you can even specify it as false. So here uh, one thing if we want to look up for uh, you know the value here we are clear that we need the class value but here if you see we need to generate an id maybe like if you see jack so jack is repeating here fine so there are repetition of numbers no unique so how can we say that which jack we need because there is no unique id even age if you look here so age like 10 it's repeating, right? So 12 is, even 12 is repeating. So these are not unique, fine. So these are repeating. So how we can generate a unique ID? For this, what we can use, we can use composite key. I have already explained compos composite key is basically combination of two or more columns. So here by combining Jack and 15, we can generate a unique ID. So using the composite key. So here we can use composite key in practical. So by using composite key, we can generate a unique ID or we can get the class here using VLOOKUP. So that's all. Apart from these, uh, apart from these questions, there were certain more basic questions. I can say that theoretical or formulas related to VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, pivot tables. If you are clear with the basic concepts, if you are clear with the formulas, then definitely you will be able to answer those questions that were quite simple actually. And that's all for today's session. If you gain something, if you learn something new, please like the video, do subscribe the channel. And if you have any query in your mind, please write down in the comment section and I will provide this uh, link in the description below. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.